Oh, excellent. Let's try, try again. Well, Sunnybrook's actually got a really um, great name internationally and it has a really great name in intensive care medicine. So coming to work with some of these guys and girls is, is amazing. And, um, and so far I've really enjoyed meeting them and not quite as scary as you'd expect because they're so well known. Uh, so she essentially has had a recurrent abdominal surgery. I just sort of stumbled on critical care and I feel that I'm really glad that I did that because critical care is one of those specialties that has everything. It's almost separated into two parts. I have my normal day at work or I have my normal on-call shift, which is, you know, the evening and, and the night. And I particularly, a normal day would be a ward round in the morning uh, where you get a handover from uh, the doctors from the night before. Uh, I usually have an hour teaching in the morning from 7.30 to 8.30. And that teaching is either for us, so it's, it's for the fellows, or it might be us teaching the residents. Uh, which I love, I absolutely love teaching and um, I really look forward to those days when I get to teach the residents. Uh, after that we'll do our ward round which is two or three hours. So I think it's probably atelectasis, maybe a little bit of flu. Yeah, so a normal ward round in ICU is very varied and, and that's one of the things I love about it. It can be a really simple two hour ward round uh, where everything goes to plan and there's no surprises. Um, you might even get a coffee afterwards if you're lucky. <laughs> and then there's another ward round where it takes five hours uh, during that time you've had to resuscitate a trauma patient, you've had to participate in a cardiac arrest team, uh, you've had to intubate somebody who couldn't breathe, and you might have also had to have two or three family conferences about uh, end of life. So the ward round can sort of take you anywhere and, and really ICU is very much uh, what's needed at that minute is what you need to do. ICU is, uh, you, you're often dealing with end of life situations. End of life discussions um, are done really well and they're done with you know, the family and the patient's best interest in mind. You can get quite a good outcome uh, knowing that the outcome might be, be death but um, that is going to come to all of us. So if you can make that transition really good for the patients and for the family then you've actually done a really good job. And I think that's what sort of keeps me going because you think of it as, as part of medicine, as part of life. And if you do it really well, um, you try not to look at it as a failure actually, but as a success.